With the leadership program, we actually made sure that there was a project component where members of the class had to be a part of a community initiative. And look, we had big dreams and hopes and aspirations for those projects. And today, one of our biggest projects came to fruition, and that is here at the First Responders Monument. A little over two years ago, we got together and started brainstorming what our community project would be uh, for our leadership class. And we were eight different people with eight different ideas. But when we had this one project proposed, we all had the same collective mindset. Uh, we all wanted to honor our first responders uh, through this project. Never in my wildest imagination would I expect it to be as beautiful and as large as what it's become. This is kind of helps us rem remember. And I know I've passed by here a few times. I hadn't actually been here, but I passed by here. And when you look over here, you go, oh, that's the monument. And you remember people. And, uh, and that's what it's all about is to be able to remember people. Um, this was one of the first times in my life that I felt like I was able to be an integral part of a project that was way bigger than myself. This project has been a labor of love, to say the least, over the last two years, and I couldn't be more proud of it. As those before me have expressed, and on behalf of District 4 Fire Department, we are glad to have this monument right here in our coverage area. And this is an opportunity for the families to be able to have something to remember them by. And it means a lot to have a monument here for a place that uh, people can come to, not just ourselves, but other people can come and reflect on uh, a lot of times the, the dedication and sacrifice that, that, that they all put forward. I've witnessed what first responders do firsthand and been a part of what they do firsthand. There was no question about being part of this. It's just an honor and a privilege to know what these guys do, to understand how it affects not only them, but their families and to just show some little small appreciation for what they do every day, every day, every day. So God bless you all. Uh, we're with you, our thoughts are with you and your family members. Thank you so much.